Well, here's another thing to do. Have you ever wanted to mentor a child? So a lot of people don't know what that means or they have an idea of what it means. I know I had an idea, but I was really, really wrong about my idea. So my mom had a mentor from the fourth grade all the way beyond high school. They became good friends and uh, my mom mentored her uh, once a week, sometimes more, but they hung out together and did a lot of fun stuff together um, for, well, like I said, all the way from fourth grade through after high school. So I moved here and I met the director, Susie Gallo, and I said, well, uh, it's time for me to be a mentor. So I have a great mentee and she's in the sixth grade now and I visit her once a week at her school where there is a mentoring center and there's a facilitator there and the mentors show up and the students show up and they spend an hour together. Sometimes you go walking, sometimes you go out and have a soda together. Sometimes you play ping pong or foosball or watercolor, which I do a lot of with my mentee and you're the adult that shows up. You don't have to do the disciplinary anything. You're not there to do the homework with them. You don't have to um, do any parenting. You're there to be maybe the missing adult that the child doesn't have on a regular basis who's like always dependable and always there. That's kind of the crux of it. I can't get too much into it on a one or two minute video, but the Sonoma Valley Mentoring Alliance. Look into it, it's very satisfying, it's a lot of fun, and they're dying for mentors. They need about 60 or 80 more mentors this year. It's a lot of fun, they have a lot of great programs for the kids and endless, endless, endless binders of things that give you ideas to do with them. Or pop into the mentoring center and, I don't know, play a great game together. It's fun. It's really light work and it's super meaningful. So think about being a mentor with the Sonoma Valley Mentoring Alliance.